The world of Elite has always been a dangerous place, but with Odyssey, it takes on a whole new dimension. For the first time, pilots are going to leave the security of their cockpit. This is going to force them to have a mentality shift from bold and daring star pilot to vulnerable on-foot troop. The premise that we've taken with the sphere of combat in Elite Dangerous Odyssey is to take the nature of combat in space and bring it down onto the planet's surface. One of the key elements of Odyssey's combat is what we consider the combat triangle. For the first time, we're seeing on-foot commanders, SRVs, ships, all converging into this really unique experience that's inherently unpredictable. All of these elements actually join together so that the combat can span from the surface all the way into space. By embracing ships, SRVs, and on-foot troops in the same combat space, it allows us opportunities to not just have combat in terms of people just shooting each other. It also opens up opportunities for us to have more tactical gameplay. The wide range of environments to fight in, whether that's indoors or outdoors, gives you a unique experience. Audio also plays an incredibly important role in portraying the combat experience that we are trying to get across to our players. One of our main focuses is making the game sound cool, but way more important than that is just communicating information to the player. So the sound mix supports the player in whatever they happen to be doing at that time. It focuses their attention on things that matter most. Things like the player's breath, just how intense are they breathing. It's all to do with the stress of combat. It's not always about the bullets and the explosions. Sometimes it's about the much more intimate things that the player's experiencing. Players will have to make critical decisions about their loadouts, and that includes the suit they're wearing, the weapons that they're taking in, and this will differ really dependent on the type of situation that they're going into. We have three weapon classes in Odyssey, each linked to an individual manufacturer. So we have plasma weapons, laser and kinetic. Those manufacturers each have a distinct style. For every weapon, the character of their manufacturer goes through every aspect of it, whether it's the look, sound or feel. One of the things we were really trying to do with the combat to make it authentic was to create weapons that felt both powerful and satisfying to use. It's the small touches that make the guns feel designed and belong to a specific manufacturer, like the magazines on the laser weapons that are magnetised into the housing with a really satisfying noise that slides in. As animators animating weapons, what we want to do is bring as much character to the individual weapons as possible. Weapons have two functions. One is to be cool, and one is to telegraph to the player what's happening in the game. If you're holding a big rocket launcher, you feel very powerful, you shoot people from a distance, and you can wipe out groups of people. But at the same time, having that big weapon and the mobility issues with it make you feel very, very vulnerable. Each of the weapons needed to sound unique but each of the family types needed to have their own sonic identity. Part of designing these weapons was to have an emphasis on gun tails, gun tails being the second part of a gunshot. We were really fortunate enough to go to Pinewood to record a small set of weapons, but in a huge variation of different environments, ranging from huge hangar-type spaces and built-up streets to kind of really small, intense, tight interiors and stairwells. So we then applied these gun tiles to each corresponding weapon, so they sound different in each interior and exterior space that we created. Not only does it make the guns sound more interesting, but it also helps the player know where they are, creating more immersive experience. It really does feel like you're in the middle of a battle. You can hear the bullets popping in the distance, you can see and hear the ships flying overhead, the AI soldiers shouting and shooting and running, the explosions flashing and roaring. It really feels like you're in a situation where any small decision could have a huge consequence, and there's something really compelling about that. We put a lot of consideration into the combat and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. We really hope that you like it as much as we do.